And welcome to CML Theater Movie Review, home of independent films. Listen, it's been a long time since we've been graced with a monster film. I mean, I go, I mean, things go back to, and I'm not talking about like too far back, because I don't want to go that far back in the past. But you had the mimic, the relic, Jeepers Creepers, and now we got the monster, and we about to talk about that right now here on CML Entertainment. <laughs> The Monster, written and directed by Brian Bertino. I thought this movie was really good. It was something a little different for me because it wasn't like, you know, the usual. But this was something different. And that's what I really liked about this movie. And it really works for this movie. Um, the movie starts off with this, uh, with Kathy and Lizzie. But Lizzie is the daughter. Kathy is the mom. So the, it starts off, you see her daughter. She's uh, sitting down. Waiting for her mom to wake up, so she ends up getting the house together. And I, st I noticed that it was a lot of alcohol. You know, there's alcohol everywhere around the house, so that clearly tells the mom is an alcoholic. So she's still waiting on her mom, and because her mom's supposed to take her to her dad's house, but her mom didn't wake up on time. So she woke her mom up. She's like, "Let's go, let's go." You instantly could tell their relationship is crazy. Like they don't have like a normal, you know, mother and daughter relationship. Like they have a wild relationship because the mom, you know, mom disappoints her daughter a lot, and her daughter just getting sick and tired of her stuff. So, <laughs> next thing you know, her mom gets it together. They get things together, so they get to go out on the road. Well, they're going out on the road to take her to her father's house. And night falls, it's raining, and shit just happened that really caught me off guard, that really creeped me the hell out. Because while they're driving, they're, you know, in the car talking. And before you know, the car just got, like, Something hit the car because the car spit out of control. Like I said, it happened out of the blue light. Smash! The next thing you know, the car just went... Rrr! So they stop. <laughs> so they're looking around. They don't see anything. And then they see a wolf because they hit a wolf that was in the middle street. But the wolf looked like it was already damaged. So when they get out the car, you know, they, they, they check out the wolf to see what, what's going on. So the mom pulls this big, huge <laughs> teeth, this huge fang outside, like out the wolf body. And right there, the daughter just instantly caught on. She's like, no, this ain't right. This ain't right. And the thing I love about those two is that you, they go back and forth because you see, like, what's going on in present. But you also see their past. And the reason why, you know, the daughter look at her mom the way she looked at her mom back then. Because, you know, when kids, when, when, when parents sort of do things that disturb their kids, your kid starts to look at you like you a monster. But then what made matters worse is that they end up facing a real monster that's massively huge, that's massively creepy, and it's crazy. But before I get any further than that, let's get this movie right in, shall we? I give this movie a big-ass smiley face. Oh, yeah. And Zokazan and Ella Ballantine, they is really good together as mother and daughter in this movie. Like, they really killed it. Like, the acting in this movie is extremely good. Like... I could not take my eye off of it. It's not like when you gotta go to the bathroom real bad and you just don't go because that's how good the acting is in this movie. It's awesome to see Scott Speedman in this movie because I haven't seen him in quite a while. But like I said, guys, the movie was really good and the jump scares is highly effective. That is one creepy ass monster. That's not something I want dragging me under my bed. But the one guy I definitely felt sorry for was the fucking tow truck guy. Because <laughs> he caught it the worst. Like... Man, it sucked to be that guy. It really sucks to be him. Like, they're in the car. <laughs> and they already creeped out because they knew he was under the car. So they was asking the guy. They was like, hey, you, you okay? You all right? Is he? He's not under there, is he? Is, beep, beep. Can you hear us? Like, they didn't hear him because he heard some really creepy, disturbing stuff under the car. So... Next thing you know, they're like, where, where is he at? And then you just see an arm get thrown at the car. Like, right on top of the car. You just knew instantly he didn't make it. The tow truck guy didn't make it. <laughs> <laughs> but, guys, you got to check this movie out. You can uh, so you can watch, you can see it on Amazon right now for, what, six ninety nine, And I think it's fourteen ninety nine. Yes. I think, I think I'm right. I hope I'm right. But you can see it on Amazon right now. The monster. Like I said, I really enjoyed it. I thought it was something unique, you know. I like how they went back and forth because then you understand why the mother and daughter was the way they were when you see them in their present time. But you also see how they was, you know, with each other in the past. And the mom, you know, she, she was a shitty mom, but she tried. You know, she also tried to make things work. And she loved her daughter. And, and you know, parents make mistakes and all that good stuff. But, you know, eventually, you know, we all human by the end of the day. 
check this movie out, The Monster. Don't forget to hit that like button. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And don't forget to leave a comment. Let me know what you think about The Monster because I already told you what I thought about it. I thought it was cool. I thought it was unique. And I like how the story, the acting, even the the shots, like the 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 film photography shots. Oh my God, y'all. I can't even get my, my lips right. You feel, feel, feel. <laughs> but the shots is so beautifully shot and like shot like like with the rain, the woods in the back and the and just everything like this whole scenery just involved around this like misty dog. It just had a dark tone to it and just the idea of something in a deep dark woods just staring at you like I'm going to fuck him up. <laughs> <laughs> and that monster was no joke. I mean, he hawk smashed like he gra straight up grabbed out of the car and just went boom, boom. <laughs> Y'all gotta check this movie out. I'm not gonna say anything else. I think I've said enough. Check this movie out. And to all my movie lovers, I love you.